Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to take a look at loop functionality inside Moti. I was inspired by my friend Oleg, he created this beautiful loading indicator. And I'll be showing you my way of doing it in React Native using only Moti and the loop functionality. We will take a look at loop, 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 loop. repeat and repeat reverse, which are three different features that Moti supports. In case you don't know what Moti is, powerful library for building animations, micro interactions and UI animations that's powered by Reanimated 2. So pretty much everything is running at 60 FPS because all the properties are animated on the UI thread. So you will not drop any frames while performing those animations. If you'd like to become a patron, you'll have access not to only this project in particular, but to more than 50 different animations. I'm doing there a lot of anim cool animations that involved math, reanimated to vanilla animated API, Moti and many, many others. So go ahead to my Patreon page, become a patron and just enjoy the beautiful animations out there. So let's, let's play the intro and see what this loop is all about. Shall we? All oh, right, you guys, so we are in VS Code here. I've prepared the project using Expo. If you're not using Expo, don't worry about it. Everything that I'm going to show you here can be applied to a Create React Native app. Uh, you only need to have Moti installed. So I have a blank project. Uh, I have a view. A view uh, that's going to render a loading indicator because I would like to make this loading indicator a reusable component and I would like to pass a different size to it. So that's why the size property is here. It's 100 in my case and the component is expecting to have a size and render something in exchange. So I'll start by modifying this view to be a multi view. So I'll import multi view from uh, multi and Let's start with the UI itself. So I'll have a couple of styles here. It's going to be width size, height size, and border radius is going to be size divided by two. I'll also like to apply a border width of size divided by 10 and a border color of white. So pretty much this is going to create a circle, right? That's it. It's, it's a plain circle. And I will also like to apply a glowing effect to it and to apply a glowing effect you, you can specify a shadow. So let's start with a shadow color of again white, a shadow offset with 0 height 0 and a shadow opacity of 1 and a shadow radius of 10. So this one is going to create a glow effect. And in the beginning of the video I was mentioning that we'll take a look at loop, repeat and repeat reverse. Uh, so basically repeat uh, it means, it means how many times you like to repeat the animation. Uh, it's, it can be, it's a number, right? So three times means that it's going to animate three times. If you specify repeat infinity, it's basically equal to loop through. So it's going to loop infinitely over and over, uh, over and over again, over and over, over and over again. I was just looping. Uh, so loop through is equal to repeat infinity. Then there is the third element of this equation, which is repeat reverse. So basically repeat reverse, which is default to true, set to true, means that you have an initial value and a final value, and you like to animate between them. So initially, if you'd like to loop, let's assume, uh, you'll have uh, opacity zero, uh, initially, and then you'll have opacity 1, the final value, right? So it's going to go from opacity 0 to opacity 1, and from opacity 1 to opacity 0. This is basically a complete loop. And if you'd like to skip going from opacity 1 to opacity 0, you can specify repeat reverse false. So it's going to go from opacity 0 to opacity 1 and then snap back to the initial value without any animation in between. So let's, let's start with, with this animation and then we can play around with those different properties. So I would like to, to start by uh, a breathing animation. A breathing animation means that you can specify different widths 
and heights and he is going to just breathe so i will start with the from animation uh, the from configuration so i'll specify the width to be size height size and the border radius of size divided by two so this is the initial uh, configuration and i would like to go to width size plus 20 height is the same and border radius is size plus 20 divided by two right so this one is going to animate just once uh, this is the default uh, transition configuration and now you you can modify all or alter this transition configuration by passing the transition prop so the transition prop you can specify a type the default type it's spring but i would like to have it a timing so timing uh, timing function here i like to have to pass a duration of 1000 or one second so this is how it's actually working right so it's it's going to only work one so it's going from uh, the from to the uh, final version just once without repeating without doing anything but i've mentioned that you can repeat the animation so you can specify a property called repeat and you can specify how many times you like to repeat it so i like to repeat it three times let's say hit refresh it's going to go from zero to one one to zero this is one loop zero to one one to zero second loop zero to one one to zero the third loop and then is going to animate and, and stop so this is how it is right and you can also specify basically a, a looping animation it's either repeat infinity so i can specify here repeat infinity and it's going to repeat over and over over and over in, indefinitely or i can pass directly a loop through which is which translates underneath us repeat infinity so this one is going to loop over and over over and over again where repeat reverse comes into place is you'd like to snap when it's going to go to the final ver uh, final property so basically opacity one to opacity uh, opacity zero to opacity one and you like to go directly to opacity zero without any animation you can specify repeat reverse so repeat reverse is going to be true by default but you can alter it and, and pass it as false and now uh, it's going to go uh, from zero to one and then directly snapping to zero and so on so zero one snap zero one snap one snap one snap you receive in our case in our example we don't want to do that we we just want to have a breathing animation but you'll see in some upcoming videos how powerful is this repeat reverse and how we can actually use it but for now let's keep it to true and do this looping through animation on top of width height and border radius i would like to play around with the border width so initially i would like to have a border width of zero so the circle is not going to be visible pretty much because the circle is defined by this border but i would like to go to border with size divided by 10. so if i hit refresh now the circle is not going to be visible initially but the width of the border is going to grow in size so it's creating this beautiful effect right i'll also like to play around with the shadow opacity why not so shadow opacity it's going to be 0 0.5 initially and i like to go to shadow opacity one so if i hit refresh now this is basically an animation of the width height border radius border width shadow opacity which by the way is not possible to do it on the ui thread like the react native animated api environment because all of them will require use native driver false because you can only animate transforms and opacity on the UI thread. But Reanimated 2, and in particular, like in this example, Moti, which is powered by Reanimated 2, moved everything on the UI thread. So you can animate all the properties in the, in, available in React Native. So in, I, I just gave you an example with width, height, border radius, border width, and shadow opacity. But you can also think about background colors, text colors, and everything. 
and all the way is going to work with six, on 60 fps which is pretty pretty powerful yeah guys that that was it i it was a short tutorial i hope that you've learned something new about moti and how you can actually loop 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 if you're not a subscriber, consider to subscribe to, to this channel. Also, hit the ring bell button just to be notified whenever I'm posting something new. And if you have any issues or any anything that I can help with, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer all of them and help you as much as I can. Other than that, see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.